What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an overview of WebOS 2.0. HP Palm has said that this is going to be coming to all of their WebOS devices. So whether you own a Pre, a Pre Plus, Pixie, or Pixie Plus, this is what you can expect when the update hits your phone. Uh, we're gonna demonstrate these features on a Palm Pre 2. Let's go ahead and get started. So as I just mentioned, we are showing this on a Palm Pre 2. I'm not going to spend that much time on the hardware here of the Pre 2, as there really isn't that much to talk about over the previous generation Pre. We've got a 1 GHz processor now, an updated 5 megapixel camera. We've got sort of a soft touch bezel uh, on the side. You can see that right there. We've got an updated micro USB charging port, which loses that uh, quite annoying sort of flap door that we've seen on the previous generation Pre Pluses. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the first, what I consider major feature of WebOS 2.0, and that is stacks. One thing WebOS did fantastically, uh, probably better than any operating system, was handle multitasking. And Palm has made that just a little bit easier. So I've got a few cards open. If you remember from WebOS, all of your applications are managed in this sort of card format. You can tap on something to open it. If you want to go back to your main menu and you want to close an application, you just flick it off the screen. So I've got a few cards open here. I've got a web browser window, I've got my calendar, and I've got a notes application. Let's say I want to keep my notes and my web browser together because as I'm uh, viewing a web page, I'm typing some notes in there to remember what I read or something to come back and check out later. So I'll go ahead and tap and hold this down and go ahead and move it over. And there is that web browser I was talking about. So I just dragged the notes right on top of it. And now I've got what's called a stack. You can see these two right next to each other. And the main home screen uh, views much in the same way. I can go ahead and jump into that application. I can go back and view other applications inside of the stack and go right back to it. One of the cool things that Stacks does, uh, if you open up a link or open up another application while inside of a stack, uh, it's going to open up that new application uh, as a new card in that same stack. Uh, kind of neat. It's a very nice feature. It makes navigating multiple applications and multiple windows uh, that much easier than WebOS, which already, I think, was a, a great way to manage open applications. So that is Stacks. Uh, there's also a new universal search, which is now called Just Type. You can sort of see it briefly and a little bit uh, fade in the background up top. So let me go ahead and give you a demonstration of what Just Type looks like. So you can uh, add a ton of different search functionality that was not here before. And again, the keyboard is exactly the same. Let's go ahead and type techno, like I want to search for techno buffalo. And see so it starts pulling up uh, different names and different numbers. So here I just type techno. I can go ahead and go right into Google Maps, Wikipedia, Twitter. I can search the Palm app catalog. I can add it as a new calendar event, search SMS or new email. I can go ahead and open up more. What this is going to do, it's going to open the application and actually search within, within it. Uh, for what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and look at preferences here as well because there's a ton of other ones that you can add. So here's some bookmarks and email, Google Maps, Wikipedia, Twitter, and a ton of other things here as well. Uh, one of the really cool things about the Just Type is that it is now uh, an open interface. So you, a lot of other websites you visit, you'll get a pop-up asking if you want to add it uh, to the Just Type universal search. So, for example, you might get uh, ESPN, for example. You can add YouTube. So you can go ahead and search all these different sites from really one uh, central area, which really makes it a very nice and welcomed feature. Uh, the next sort of thing that I think is very important, and there's not really much point in demonstrating it, uh, is there is now a favorites in the dialer. Go ahead and hit that star button right there, and it looks just like uh, an iPhone or Android. Go ahead and put your favorites uh, right in there. All right, so going back to the home screen here, we do have an updated launcher. So right now, these are broken up into uh, pages. So at the top, we have one called System. You go ahead and scroll over. You get one called Extras and one called Applications. You can rename these anything you like. If you go ahead and tap the top, or at least try and tap the top, it'll open up a window to rename them. You can see one of the uh, problems here is a touchscreen sensitivity on the Pre 2. Does not want to be renamed. If I go ahead and hold it down. Uh, there it goes. Now I can uh, rename it. And I can also uh, add uh, new launcher pages if I like, or rename launcher pages, or reorder launcher pages. So there's a new one. I can go ahead and title it whatever I want. Let's go ahead and close it. And if you want to move applications between pages, uh, you can do that as well. If you hold it down, go ahead and move things uh, anywhere you like. We'll keep this back on the application screen. 
All right, so the next kind of cool feature uh, that's here is something called text assist. One of the things I lamented that WebOS initially didn't have was any sort of auto correction. Uh, we now do have auto correction on here. Let me go ahead and show you. We'll jump into system and let's go ahead and find text assist here. There it is. So what this is gonna let you do is uh, teach it what words you type and don't type and it will automatically correct them. So I can go ahead and edit user dictionary and if I put words in there to learn what I've typed. Uh, there also is something new here called shortcuts uh, which is going to let you uh, pick sort of shortcuts that you want to type long letters. So if you type techno buffalo a lot, you can just hit TC in a symbol and it'll automatically type techno buffalo for you. So let me give you a demonstration of what this looks like, or at least say I would love to give you a demonstration. Let's go ahead and launch memos and I'll go ahead and use universal search here or just type to open up my memos application. And there is a memo. So let me go ahead and type testing and I will type or testing this device. And I'll type testing wrong. And I'll hit spacebar to go to the next word. However, I can't do that because the spacebar on this Palm Pre 2 is broken. So as much as I keep hitting it, it's not going to be working. If this was a functioning phone, you'd hear a little bit of a ding and it would auto-correct the word and I could just tap it and see what the changes were made and whether or not I wanted to accept them. Unfortunately, this Palm Pre 2 that came from HP as a production unit uh, is broken. And this is not a review unit, this is something that uh, we actually bought and uh, it will be going back to HP Palm. Something to uh, keep in mind. Some other sort of features that are here, uh, smaller ones that we didn't have before. Uh, things like VPN are now here, Let's see if we can find that. Uh, there's VPN, you can connect to a few different options in case you uh, need to VPN into something. So there is uh, VPN. There's also a new Synergy services. So that Synergy is what essentially pulls in information uh, and syncs it with all the rest of your device. So you can now select whether or not you want to sync not just Facebook, whether or not you want to sync Facebook Calendar, whether or not you want to sync Facebook Contacts. So you're not left with just a huge dump of stuff. Uh, you can pick what you want. Uh, and lastly, one of the features that I really did want to show is Flash. WebOS 2.0 supports Flash content. So we are in Techno Buffalo. When you have Flash content visible, it's not going to automatically load on the page. It's going to give you a little bit of a play button right there to let you know that it's there. So your pages will load pretty quickly as if there wasn't Flash. So go ahead and hit play. Maybe this is just uh, an advertisement. But you can see what it looks like. It starts to, uh, to move a little bit, move around. If you go ahead and rotate the device, it sort of zooms in on the Flash content. So you can now view uh, Flash web pages and even play uh, Flash games on here. And it does work actually pretty well. Um, something to sort of uh, bear in mind. Anyway guys, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo with a uh, overview for you of WebOS 2.0 on the Palm Pre 2. Are you excited about these updates? Is something that you really think WebOS 1.0 should add? Is this enough to merit a 2.0 update for you? Uh, for me, this is more of a 1.5 uh, type update. There's nothing revolutionary or new here. Uh, and I think Palm had a lot of ground to make up in the OS wars to catch up with Android and iOS. And I don't think WebOS 2.0, unfortunately, really does it, despite its really fantastic multitasking uh, capabilities. So I want to hear from you. Leave your comments down below. John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check out the website for all your tech news. For exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John4Lakers. Links to both of those are down below. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.